Hi everyone, I'm Lin. I'm a software engineer, hobbyist game developer, and recent graduate from the University of Chicago. In today's tutorial, we're going to detect music onsets in a song using Python. By definition, onset refers to the beginning of a music note or other sound. This tutorial is adapted from a few lectures in my course about building a rhythm game. In my rhythm game, this onset detection technique allows me to automatically generate beat maps for any music. Besides building a rhythm game, this music onset detection technique also has a lot of other applications. For example, detecting onsets is usually the first step in music information retrieval and analysis. Another example could be that we're building some game in which there are battle scenes, and we may detect the onsets in the background music and spawn an enemy at every onset. This will add a unique feel to our game. We are going to use two Python packages, Librosa and Obvio, to detect onsets. If you are building a game in Unity and C Sharp or with other stacks that don't have a robust library for onset detection, you may export the detected onsets into a text file to read into your engine of choice. And that's how we will output our detected onsets. If you don't already have Python 3 on your computer, let's download Python 3 and set up the development environment. Now we are on Python's official site. We can follow the instructions to install Python 3 on our particular operating system, be it a Mac, a Windows, or a Linux. With Python 3 installed, let's open up a terminal window. Terminals are natively included on Mac and Linux, but Windows also have one that you can get from the Microsoft Store. In the terminal, let's check the version of our Python 3. I have Python 3.9.4. We are going to create a virtual environment and install our packages. So here I am on my desktop. I change directory into my Rampy Minigames folder. Now I'm inside this generate bitmap folder and I create my virtual environment as follows. I will name it py 39 Obvio Librosa. So I do Python 3 dash m for module vinv py39 obvio librosa. This will take some time to run, and once it finishes running, we can activate our virtual environment. Yeah, so this first command, if you see permission denied, this means that you need to put a dot first and then a space and the name of your virtual environment being activate. This name here in this parenthesis lets me know that my virtual environment is active. Now that with our virtual environment activated, let's check which Python we are using. So which Python? It shows that we are using the Python in this virtual environment instead of our global system level Python. Similarly, we can check which pip Python package manager that we are using. The pip is also located in this virtual environment. Let's do pip install obvio. Alright, now that we have Obvio installed, we can check whether it has been successfully installed by doing Python and then inside the Python repo, import Obvio. If this doesn't give you an error, it means that your Obvio has been successfully installed. In my lecture 9 and branch, inside the generate bitmap folder, we have two Python files named 
generate bitmap Obvio, and generate bitmap Liberosa. Let's take a look at generate bitmap Obvio. I took the code directly from Obvio's documentation, so we don't have to fully understand this get onset times function and can just skip over to the main function. My file path is game audio mymusic.mp3 located in here. By calling the get onset times function and passing our file path, we get a list of floats denoting the onsets in seconds. Then we just create a text file with the same name as our audio file, but with the extension .bitmap.txt. And for each timestamp in the onset times, we truncate the float to the first four decimal places here and write it to the file, followed by a new line. This will result in a text file with one timestamp in seconds on each line. Before running this audio script, let's first listen to my audio file. To avoid copyright issues, I just recorded a simple happy birthday song which has been in the public domain since 2016. Now let's run Python generate bitmap audio.py. You can see that Obvio is giving a warning because you are using the MP3 format and estimating the duration from bitrate might be inaccurate, but this is totally fine. Now let's inspect the generated bitmap text file, also located in game audio with our .mp3 file. Great, now we have floats separated on each new line. And this is it for using Obvio to detect onset. Now let's do pip install Librosa. All right, Librosa has been installed. Let's see if we can import Librosa in our Python interpreter. It doesn't give us an error, so Librosa has been successfully installed. In my lecture 9 and branch inside the generate bitmap folder, we have generate bitmap liberosa.py. Now let's inspect the script. My file path this time is game audio mymusic.ogg. I'm using an OGG file this time as opposed to an MP3 file last time because Librosa works just fine with OGG. We load the file with Librosa. This gives us a numpy array x which we don't really need to care about, and a sampling rate. We pass these two into Librosa onset detection, which gives us onset frames. Then we convert the onset frames into a list of onset timestamps in seconds using Librosa frames to time. Everything that follows is just like in the last lecture. We create a text file with the same name as our audio file, but with the extension .bitmap.txt. And for each timestamp in the onset times, we truncate it to the first four decimal places and write it to the file, followed by a new line. This will result in a text file with one timestamp in seconds on each line. Now let's run the script. Let's now inspect the content and compare it to what we got from Obvio. 
So this one here is the one just generated by Liberosa. This one was generated by Obvio some time ago. You see that they are quite similar except that Obvio has one more onset than Liberosa. But since they're quite similar, both of them are pretty good for our purpose. I'm showing you both packages, Obvio and Liberosa, so you have options. Obvio is a little bit faster but doesn't work with OGG files, while Liberosa provides an easier to use interface and can work with OGG files. Feel free to choose between Obvio and Liberosa as you like. We will read the bitmap into our rhythm game displayable and play the music. Starting on line 62, we define a hopper function to read in the bitmap. The hopper function is called read bitmap file. This hopper function defined at the bottom of this file is pretty straightforward. Given a file path, of the bitmap, we read in the content with file.read. Remember that the content is nothing more than floats separated by new lines. The floats are read as strings, so we convert them into floats and return this list of floats. Back to line 62. We read in the onset times by calling the hopper function here. And since we have so many nodes, we can automatically and randomly assign them two tracks like this. Let's run the RenPy project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my YouTube channel for my courses on building a rhythm game, my other fun project tutorials, and my coding interview crash course. See you in the next tutorial.